Hey everyone, welcome to Brickball. Today is another LEGO Weekly News update. Plenty of things happened in the world of LEGO this week, as always. The August store promotioner. Promotioner? It's a promotioner carander. That's how the French say it. Hey everybody, welcome to Brick Vault. Today is another LEGO Weekly News update video. It, plenty of things happened in the world of LEGO this week, including the August store promotional ca promotional promotional calendar has come out, plus uh, the Aston Martin James Bond car. There's more information on that. There have been reveals for new San Diego Comic-Con exclusive sets, not the figs just yet. Um, new building competition for the LEGO Movie 2. Exclusive Batman release with a DK book. Plenty of things. There's more stuff, lots more stuff, including two new LEGO idea sets have been voted in with 10,000 votes of support. So let's jump right in. Let's start with maybe some of the more relevant information, some of the things that you guys might be needing to know for next month. The August store calendar is now out, so let's go through the monthly promotions. Starting from the 1st and ending on the 14th is a free LEGO gift with purchase, over $35, and what you get is an assortment of the new plant pieces. Well, most of the plant pieces really aren't new in shape, but the way they were manufactured was through the new green ethanol process. I think they were developed by making ethanol from uh, sugarcane. This is part of a much larger project from LEGO to start making more and more of their pieces uh, through plant-based ethanol instead of oil. So I'll be very curious to see what this feels like, if it feels any different from the normal LEGO pieces that we are used to. So anyways, they come free as a gift if you purchase anything for $35 or more or while supplies last. Now the same thing sort of applies for the new free Unikitty Castle Room. This promotion will end on the 12th or if they just run out and this is with a purchase of $25 or more. So perhaps if you spend 35 bucks or more, you just get both of these. And the style of this particular set kind of reminds me of that little minifigure pack we got recently with a mostly paper vignette setup with just a few little Lego builds. Very colorful all around for sure. And then throughout the entire month of August, you earn double VIP points if you buy either of these two Harry Potter sets, that being the Whomping Willow or Newt's Case of Magical Creatures. Features. The VIP monthly mini model build is a snail. The VIP early access set starts on the 15th, which is pretty much normal for all months. I don't believe we know which set it's going to be yet. And that's it for all the really big pieces of information coming for the month of August for LEGO. And before I jump into the reveals, I feel like this is something worth pointing out. LEGO is putting up a building competition for the LEGO Movie 2, which gives you and a friend of yours the ability to maybe appear in the end credits credits of the film, which is awesome. It's called the Awesome Building Buddies Competition, where basically you create something from Lego, your buddy creates something from Lego, and then you combine it, take a picture, and who knows, maybe you'll maybe you'll end up in the credits. If you have ever considered sending pictures to us for our Sunday Top 10 Mocks of the Week episode, I would definitely consider sending pictures over to Lego for this particular competition. Links in the description below if you're interested, and links to all the different articles and things I talk about in this episode are in the description below if you guys want to learn more. All right, now let's get into the reviews of the day. DK Books has another visual dictionary book coming along the way. This is for the DC superheroes and the exclusive figure has been revealed. It is Yellow Lantern Batman. You can see he's maybe being taken over by Sinestro. So he's got yellow as his primary color for torso and legs and what looks like some type of lantern or Sinestro insignia on his chest. Definitely a unique character to get for sure but ever since the Lego Batman movie, basically no type of detailing ever really surprises me when it comes to the Batman fig. You can pre-order the Visual Dictionary on Amazon now if you like. And then this week and also last week and maybe a little bit before, uh, Lego has been spamming tons of James Bond teasers for the new Aston Martin. Aside from several small, somewhat elusive little James Bond messages that have been appearing on different Lego social media accounts, what we have actually learned is anything sort of of concrete or solid is number one there is going to be an announcement there's going to be a James Bond event at 1007 in Leicester Square at the Lego store so that's basically when everybody thinks the set is going to go live because there is an exclusive set going live on July 18th so that's a pretty safe assumption and then a Budapest Lego certified store already started taking pre-orders and from this store we know it is going to be the DB5 set number 10262 honestly 
honestly, the DB5 isn't really much of a surprise. It's by far the most classic and iconic of any of the James Bond cars. But there you have it, the 007 Aston Martin is on the way, being released at 10.007 on July 18th. Now moving on to a San Diego Comic-Con updates, yet another set has been revealed. This time it is the Marvel exclusive set. It comes with Wasp and kind of just a silhouette or a bust really of a larger Ant-Man. The minifig is not exclusive. The build for the bust is pretty decent. I actually like this one maybe more than the other Marvel exclusive sets that are also scheduled for release. But so far, we still don't know what those exclusive minifigs are going to be. And that's what I think a lot of the participants of San Diego Comic-Con uh, that are excited for Lego products, that's what they're really interested in. It's those very rare, very unique exclusive prints that we get for both DC and Marvel. So we will let you know when those two exclusive figs do get announced. And then it also has been confirmed that there's going to be a Unikitty panel at San Diego Comic-Con as well. Specific uh, location and time for that has been set. So if you are indeed going to uh, San Diego Comic-Con, check the link in the description below. I believe Alan Tran has posted that at thebrickfan.com. And now let's move on to Lego Ideas. For those that don't know what Lego Ideas is, it's a website where you submit your own Lego creation in hopes to having it become an official Lego set. This week, two new sets got 10,000 votes of support, which means they are now going to be put into the review stage. And this first one I'm going to talk about is kind of interesting because I've seen it on Lego Ideas for, I think, two years now, and it finally got those 10,000 votes that it needed. This is Steamboat Willie by S Zombamate 90. Now this build, like I said, it's been around for a long time. It's been updated several, several times. And conceptually, it's not such a bad idea. It shows a black and white Mickey Mouse minifig and the steamboat that he used to ride. This was one of the first or maybe the very first Disney produced cartoon. So certainly the classic or iconic or nostalgic nature of the set is there. The build for the boat, especially the updated version, isn't too bad. It's pretty simple, but then again, so was the cartoon. But I do think it's interesting to see such an old build slowly but surely get those 10,000 votes of support. If something super, super popular, usually they can get voted in with the matter of weeks or maybe a couple of months. And I don't know, but I think this might be the longest standing project to have ever been voted in with 10,000. So congratulations to the builder. It's not easy to get those votes and it's kind of crazy to see something get approved after two years or maybe longer of submission. I'm not entirely sure when this thing actually got put in. Now the road to 10,000 votes of support was a very different story for this next build. This is the SpaceX Ultimate Collection set and I believe was submitted just last May. So because it's the Ultimate Collection, I think it's just got every big rocket or big module you can think of that has come from the uh, SpaceX program. So that would be the Falcon 9, including a Dragon 2 spacecraft. The Falcon Heavy with the Falcon 9 cores that can be detachable, of course. I think the rockets also have the ability to fold out their landing gear so they can reland. And that model, I think, would also include Elon Musk's Roadster, the payload for the first Falcon Heavy launch. There's also another satellite included. Basically, this is everything that you've come to know and recognize from the SpaceX program uh, would be included in the Ultimate Collection. So both of the idea products that were voted in this week do have promise. Steamboat Willy was slow to take, but LEGO does work with the Disney license pretty frequently, so I don't think that would be too hard to negotiate. And the set itself is relatively small, so maybe less of an investment of time to actually make it. Who knows? And then the SpaceX, I think, has been very popular with a, a pretty significant portion of the Lego building community, especially the AFOLs. The Saturn V did pretty darn well as a Lego Ideas set before, so who knows, there might be some incentive to work with SpaceX on this. Uh, just time will tell. All right, that's it for this episode, everyone. If you enjoy our content, you can always like or subscribe. Tomorrow is our Lego Top 10 Mocks of the Week episode, which we really do like making. Sunday, sorry, Monday is going to be the vlog, which is going to be pretty fun. Uh, we had fun with the... Oh, I should, shot the, I should have shot this at the thing in the first. Thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoy our content, you can always like or subscribe. Tomorrow is our LEGO Top 10 Mocks of the Week episode that we do every Sunday. So if you want to see some cool creations that people are putting together, check out tomorrow's episode. The Monday vlog is going to have everything to do with how far and fast and destructive you can get with these things. And um, all right, so that's it. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time at Brick Vault. Oh, hey everybody, hope you enjoyed 
that video, I just wanted to pop in really quick and say that we do have a web store, BrickVault.toys, uh, that sell instructions for super high quality mocks uh, that are built by incredibly talented designers. So that is the first link in the description below. And also there's other videos too. We've got other things if you want to watch that. All right, thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time at BrickVault.